this is Scott with Android Guys. I'm here with Luke. Hey, Scott. Luke, how are you today? I'm all right. How are you? I'm doing all right. Trying to stay warm. Yeah, right. It's uh, chilly today. It is. Subject to change tomorrow. Right. <laughs> what do you have for us today? I have a game. Uh, it's a game called Ace Defender Dragon War. Um, this is a tower defense game put out by Ace Game International Limited. Um, it's one that I saw from an ad. Uh, I've seen it f- from a couple different games. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been an ad in different games, so they're definitely spending some money on uh, on advertising. But it's it's essentially it's a tower defense game where you get um, different characters, different heroes, and you level them up um, and try and defeat waves of monsters. Okay. And as you defeat monsters, you gain energy and you can do uh, powered up moves. Uh, and then there's also this um, aspect of just kind of like a turn-based fight like you would see in like an RPG mm-hmm. where it's just, you know, some of your characters that you have versus just some bad guys. And there's no tower defense strategy. There's no, you know, strategy on how to slow things down or kill things fast going through a, a pattern line. So it's both of those styles of it's games. Both of them. Yeah. How, how does it handle that? Does it go like a quest or, uh, uh you know what? It's kind of hard to tell it. Mm-hmm. I've, I've played it for, I would say maybe three hours total now. And um, it's, it's, I haven't noticed uh, a way to differentiate between those two of if, how you know what you're getting before you're just in the battle. Okay. Um, Honestly, it seems like a lot more of the turn-based RPG style battle versus the tower defense. Mm -hmm. And, what I initially downloaded it for was the tower defense aspect. Okay. So it's a, it was a little, feels a little misleading to me, but maybe I didn't quite understand what the game was before I downloaded it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I would have to say overall, the game is uh, fine. Okay. It's not, it's not one of those games. It's very much um, the tutorial is, you know, click here, click here, click here, click here, click here, do this. And, doesn't really tell you necessarily why Mm -hmm. Um, it says, Oh, here's some gems that you can use to upgrade your characters. Let's go here and upgrade this character. All right, let's go back to a battle now. Mm -hmm. And it's, you kind of get through the tutorial and um, you know, the basics of how to place people, how to use special abilities and then how to upgrade them. But any of the other things is left to you to kind of figure out as you go. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. um, But the user interface isn't the greatest. Oh, okay. It's it's kind of like uh, it's got a very uh, illustrative kind of background. And there's some like little points on a line. But it feels like... um, it feels like there's some different like graphical design choices. Like kind two of different m- artists working on yeah. it. Yeah. Um, you have like a character artist for your heroes and those look similar to the bad guys. But then there's like these, you know, in different, different stages, there might be some villagers or something that you're trying to save and they look almost like a different artist did them. Okay. Or they just, you know, found some, character models and slapped slapped them in. Okay. Um, so so what kind of characters do you have? Are they like, uh, mystical magical? Yeah. So yeah, there's magical ones. There's ones that have just, uh, all, all out, you know, uh, physical prowess and Mm -hmm. physical attacks, but everybody, regardless of what kind of attack they are, there's no like, running in and attacking it's just your attacks are done Mm. the character doesn't move they just have an animation for doing an attack and then you know the thing they're that they're targeting you know gets hurt or dies okay um it's very 
like the de- the style of the of the character design is very very detailed. Mm-hmm. Like the characters look cool, but, you know, they're all very exaggerated features. You know, anime girls and right huge swole boys, <laughs> um, and uh, people have you know wings and huge capes and big swords and yeah you know all kinds of crazy stuff um definitely looks sweet yeah uh but there's really they don't really do much on screen okay they kind of have a, a an attack animation and then you know the bad guy falls and drops some coins like watching an anime fight almost where it's just a cutscene kind almost, of thing yeah but you know it 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 plays well. It's not like for as as detailed as the graphics are, it doesn't seem to bog down the phone. There's no matter how many things are on screen, it doesn't seem to like slow down or mm-hmm. get caught up in jittery. I, I'm playing on a Google Pixel 6 Pro. Yeah. So I am using, you know, top of the line hardware. Sure. But um it seems it it's one of those games where there's not like environmental effects going on. It's kind of just the the characters that are moving, the characters that are fighting, and and a static background. So there's gotcha. really not much, you know, necessary extra processing power going on on different fights. Sure. Um, so how did you score this? What did you end up with? So I, overall, I gave it a three point two. Okay. Um, the features are you know pretty pretty average it's Mm -hmm. uh it it it's the tower defense but also has this other kind of um battle mode uh so there's two different things there's upgrading characters and equipping items so it's all those features of kind of like a the modern rpg that we've seen on a mobile game yeah uh graphic wise is real good it's detailed um audio is Average, you know, it's some fantasy music and some hack and slash sounds and mm-hmm. magical spell attack kind of an explosion things, but nothing that's like, oh man, this is very, it's not, uh, it doesn't really cha- change much from, you know, there's more energetic music during combat and then kind of a little bit less energetic and, you know, mm-hmm. background music for the, for the menu system. Sure. So it's not anything, um, uh, that really catches you because it's different in a good way. I got it, yeah. Um, replay value for me, uh, I don't see myself really playing this much after after the review. It's um, it's not it's not fun enough that I care about these characters I'm collecting because mm-hmm. it's not really a choice, and it doesn't seem like they're really much different each one so far. Like you haven't found a favorite that you're like, I want to power this guy up. No. Yeah. Um, And then as far as like for ads and notifications and stuff, uh, it's average. You get those, you know, Hey, haven't seen you in a while. Do you want to play? Yeah. Kind of thing. You get pop-ups on the screen for, Hey, the daily item in the shop is here on Mm -hmm. sale and stuff like that. And they're, you know, Constantly trying to get you to spend money for that kind of stuff. It, there's not really in-game ads, okay. So that's kind of cool, but um, yeah, it's just one of those games that I feel like you see everywhere, yeah. Uh, but you don't really hear people talking about it because I think people start it and play it and go, eh, yeah. Um, so yeah, three point two, it's fine, yeah, but it's not anything like you got to try this, sure. Um, because it's it's a little bit kind of all the other games we've talked about that are you know kind of RPG right adjacent games sure what was the name of that again Ace Defender Dragon War all right thank you Luke no problem <laughs>